Until I saw the poster, I knew nothing about this movie. Completely wasn't even remotely even close to being on my radar. And until it was over, I had no idea it was based on a TV show. I really went in blind. I love the premise, the idea of it revolving around film sets, giving stuntmen the recognition they deserve from one of the best stuntmen turned directors in the genre, David Leitch. And the stunts don't disappoint. Many of them aren't on Tom Cruise levels, but that's okay. Small scale, crazy stuff is just as entertaining. Maybe we should feel bad for seeing these guys put their life on the line for our entertainment, but here it's reinforced with such conviction, you can't help but cheer as you see the jumps and falls and crashes. Apparently this set a world record too for like how many, however many car rolls. And those stunts are believable because within the story, the characters are stuntmen. That provided a fresh feeling to each set piece, making them an absolute blast to watch with real stakes at play. I think the action is well staged, but I could have gone for more of it sprinkled throughout. Leech shows he still is just impeccable with it, one of the best in the business. Ryan Gosling just has a certain charisma and swagger to him, and you can always bet on Emily Blunt for all the same things for comedy, conviction, and forever reliable performances. Together they have fantastic chemistry, and it was nice to see a good love story on screen again. But this also plays into the movie's biggest issue is that it's got a bit of an identity crisis. There's long stretches where this is a rom-com set on a film set, and that was great. Then it switches to murder conspiracy, and that's also a ton of fun. But each plot line has enough merit for an entire film, as if two competing scripts got folded into one. And I almost wish the rom-com had been this one, and maybe the conspiracy had been the second. And because of this, it feels like both are a bit shortchanged. Could be a crazier action movie or a more deeply moving rom-com, but instead it settles for a whole lot of fun and a healthy dose of heart. And that's okay, I suppose, but I wish it had fully committed to one or the other. However, it did make me care about the characters and I had a smile on my face the entire time. Even if the humor can largely be hit or miss, the tone is mostly consistent. And that says something. There's weak areas where the film could have used more focus too, like Aaron Taylor Johnson as a Tom Cruise parody, fake guy, needed more screen time to be played for laughs and to be taken seriously by the end. Hannah Waddingham kills it as a cutthroat slimy Hollywood producer, but her wig is atrocious. Certain plot lines are glossed over and it becomes quite clear the film is maintaining its focus, but sometimes at the cost of truly achieving greatness. It decides to just be fine where it could have been more. Devolving into cliche or one too many witty jokes only for the next scene to be mind blowing. You won't cry from emotion and you won't cry from laughter, but you should have a good time with this. It does have a pretty funny post credit scene doubling as a tribute and I appreciated the look into the stunts during the credits. That reminded me of the Rush Hour movies or Shanghai Nights movies where they would show like all the stunt fails. It, it's cool stuff. But I hope the Fall Guy does pick up in theaters and makes more money than it is right now because somewhere in here is a really good formula for some entertaining franchise offerings, especially considering the premise of the show involves him becoming a bounty hunter while being a stuntman. So so maybe it's not mind blowing, but it's not quite empty calories either. It's a passion project made as a love letter to stuntmen, only held back by not fully committing to either premise. But classifying it as a throwback romantic action comedy, it's one of the more original films as of late and I'm glad I took the time to go see it. It's a good kind of fun date movie and my wife enjoyed it too. I give The Fall Guy 3.5 out of 5 stars. I have seen comments that this had bankable stars, no true big competition, pretty big marketing campaign except for to me apparently, and it's still not doing well. Do we need to be worried about theaters again? Always look for the good.